All right, folks, we've got a real treat for you today. We're going to be dialoguing with the world's leading expert in melatonin, Dr. Russell Ryder. He got his PhD in 1964, and he's written over 1,600 papers on this topic. So you're going to love hearing the specifics about how melatonin and what is, is, can be used and why it's so important in preventing some of the uh, leading causes of death, heart disease and cancer, and how it's been used pretty effectively for even viral infection. So it, and, uh, interestingly, it's also good for something called uh, reperfusion injury, which is what happens after heart attack or stroke, which is very, very common. So uh, in my view, you just got to have a high dose of melatonin in your emergency kit to be ready to use at any time for these types of emergencies. So you definitely want to listen to this to get the specifics and the details, because this is really important for your long-term health. Melatonin, as you say, has been here forever, even before I was born and its functions have evolved and it has worked. It has learned to work successfully with other molecules during this three billion year evolution. And of course, one of the molecules with which it collaborates is glutathione and it does influence glutathione. But the antioxidant activity of melatonin is extremely diverse. It, in fact, is a very good radical scavenger. There are other radical scavengers, vitamin C, vitamin E, and so forth. But melatonin is superior to those. But beyond that, it stimulates antioxidant enzymes, especially in mitochondria. And it also uh, removes free radicals and prevents the degeneration of the mitochondria. And why this is so important is mitochondria are really the center of the action in, in, within a cell. In other words, there's strong evidence that aging, frailty of aging, senescence of, cell, of cells as we age relate to molecular damage at the level of the mitochondria and melatonin seem to be very efficient at protecting mitochondria from that damage. There's a host of studies, a large host of studies, including some in the human, where if you give melatonin to induced heart attack in animals or Mm -hmm. an accidental heart attack in humans, you can preserve or reduce the amount of damage Mm. that occurs in the heart. We probably, there's a a very famous cardiologist in the Canary Islands, Professor Dominguez Rodriguez, who I work with. And we, about two years or three years ago, published a paper where we infuse melaton directly into the heart after after the vessel was opened. And of course that reduced cardiac damage by roughly 40%. We just published a paper again with this same cardiologist showing that if people who are potentially suffering with heart failure because of a damaged heart, they survive better and longer if they are given melatonin on a regular basis. It's a small study. It's only been done this one time, but I think that would be a worthwhile field to really exploit.